What's going on guys? So it's a pretty warm day out here in South Texas. We got a couple burgers and um, we're gonna season them up with uh, the holy voodoo, right? So let's go ahead and throw some of this voodoo in here. So the weather's been kind of nice. However, it's, it's starting to get real warm. It's getting close to the triple digits down here. And um, I mean, I think it's smoking grilling season right now already, at least down here. I don't know about you guys up in the north, but at least down here, man, it's starting to get real warm. Still no regrets in not wanting that cold weather. That cold weather was pretty bad on us. Texas wasn't meant for it, but you know, it is what it is. All right, so we got this stuff going. Now these are Angus patties. Normally what I would do is I would, you know, we would make our own burgers. We would, um, we would infuse the seasonings inside the patties themselves, you know, into the whole meat. That way everything is seasoned up, but you know, these are pretty good too. Alrighty folks, so as you can see the outside temperature, I mean the ambient temperature down here in South Texas is about 93, 95 degrees, give or take. It's starting to smoke up a bit. Once you hear that sound from the flame, then you already know that you're going. Uh, still nothing yet. So, alright. I removed the, the, what's it called, the heat diffuser. Cleaned it up real good because, man, it had maybe like a pound of dust or so. So always remember to go ahead and do proper maintenance, guys. So we'll wait here for a bit. And you won't be able to hear it. There we go. It's trying to catch. Still trying to catch. There we go. Y'all heard that? There we go. Now we're going to get some nice clean smoke. All right, guys. Give us a bit. We're going to put it in. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and do 220. Now, I'm not gonna go off of temperature, I'm just gonna go off of time and how the patties look. And then uh, we'll do the reverse here and go from there. Alrighty folks, so we're close to the 200s. Let's go ahead and throw these on. There we go. And I'm just gonna put them here on the left side. Like I said guys, we're gonna go off of feel and then after that, we'll just go ahead and sear them up to get a nice little crust. We'll be back here in a bit. Alrighty, gents. So it's been a bit. I want to say maybe about seven minutes or so. This thing got up to temperature real quick. I mean, I figured so. It's pretty hot as hell down here. I think it's a 95, 96 degrees out. So, got up to temp. Didn't use almost any pellets. You can see right over here. Almost nothing. So, doing pretty good. Um, just wanted to point that out that I think what ended up happening with pit balls and the first update that they had not the update but the initial controller is that I think they tested everything during the summertime and then finally released it late August early September I believe that's what it was October time for my can't remember somewhere around there so just as the cold set in I don't think whoever programmed the first controllers account for the cold weather it was it was pretty bad so anyways um everything seems to be rolling along just fine no problem no nothing like that so this controller update is fantastic it's working real well with this weather so let's go ahead and check out the meat eh, still about normal all right we'll update you guys uh once everything is a lot better all right folks so i think it's time to go ahead and do the reverse here let's go ahead and set this up to Let's go to the highest mode. I've never tried that one. Let's go to that. All right, so I'm gonna pull these out. Until we get to temperature, then we'll go ahead and sear them out. All right, so we're also going to open this up to help it get up to temperature. All right guys, we'll be back. Bruh, the auger has been on for like 45 seconds, probably a minute and some change. And this thing just went up from 220 all the way to 325. I want to say maybe in less than a minute and a half, maybe two minutes or so. Not that long at all. This thing is crazy and it's on high mode. Uh -oh. It's probably that um, heat diffuser um, warping a bit with all the heat. But look at that. 
353. All right, I think it's time to go ahead and do the reverse here. Let's go ahead and check it out, man. Whoa, look at that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this out. Give me a second, man. All right, you folks. So we got this a little bit. It's uh, it's it's pretty hot, man. I ain't gonna lie, it's pretty hot. So I'm probably just gonna leave it with the lid open and go from there. It doesn't take a whole lot of time in order to sear these things, but um, we'll see how it goes. I can't do this with one hand, so I gotta turn this thing off, man. Look at that shit, man. Y'all wanted some flames? Well, we got it right here, man. <laughs> we definitely got it. All right, guys, let me control this thing real quick. I'll get back with you. Alrighty, folks. So basically what it did is I turned off the, the smoker uh, so it can stop feeding it pellets and everything. Fire died down. Perfect. No problem. Got them taken out. No problem. Now I'm just using the heat of the barrel itself to go ahead and um, cook up the buns. So give me a second so I can go ahead and get everything wrapped up and we'll show you guys how it looks. Alrighty, folks. So here's the end result. Bun, nice and crispy. Well, not crispy, but nice and toasty. Cheese melted. This is one, uh, this is the, the cheese that barely melts, guys, so don't give me any of that. I'm gonna put some red hot in here. I like some of this stuff right over here, yeah. Not too much, just a little bit. And throw in some ketchup in here, too. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and give this a shot, man. A little smoky, right? It smells like smoke? Yeah. yeah it smells it's smoky. Is it spicy? Mmm. It's pretty good. I don't know how you guys like your burgers. But this is a little bit on the medium rare side. So it's perfect. Mmm. It's really good. You can taste the smoke on it. Even it... Being frozen or whatever, this is a, keep in mind guys, this was half frozen a little bit. But um, it still has that smoky flavor to it. All right, so you got that smoky flavor, you got that char from the reverse sear. I'd say it's a pretty good burger. I think, for me at least, I think I still need to work on the burger aspect of it, right? To go ahead, the smoking is fine. I think it's just the reverse sear part that is a bit, um, that I need to work on a little bit more, mainly because this Angus burger, you guys saw, you know, the fire got pretty up there. And I think it's because the Angus meat has a lot of uh, fat in there when it squirts all that fat and everything. I mean, um, it, it creates a pretty big fire. So will I do it again on the pellet smoker? I think so. I think next time, instead of just going to the high setting, I probably just set it to about 3, 350 or so, a small flame, not too huge. And I think that's going to work out a little bit better. But anyways, guys, um, I think that's pretty much it for the day. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys then.